Hello there, Scentsy Addicts, and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Southern, and I am an independent Scentsy Consultant. Today, we are going to delve into our scent and warmer of the month for June 2020. So this will be available as of June 1st. I kind of already unboxed it because I did it for my VIP group, so I'm not technically unboxing it again for you. This one is super unique. If you love like the look of our um, Stargaze diffuser and warmers, this has a very similar effect to it. As you can see, it is very solid looking um, just when it's not lit. I actually love it. It has like this really cool blue and purple tones to it. The dish obviously is also the same way. You can kind of catch glimpses of purple in there even though it looks blue. Like it's really cool, almost, almost as if, oh, I did put the bowl back in. <laughs> it's in packaging. Almost like it's sort of iridescent. I really like the way that the color kind of shifts that way. Gives it a little bit more of dimension to it, I guess, and a little bit more depth than just kind of looking at a plain warmer that is solid in color. Whoa, I almost dropped it. <laughs> but that's how it looks just by itself. I will say it does seem like a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but other than that, especially when it's turned off, but then you turn it on and Voila, <laughs> there we go. It took me a minute, but I got it, okay? Look at the dimension in that with the stars. That is so cool. I know my light is like in giving us issues here and it's showing a glare on it. Let's turn this light off for a second. There we go. Look at how cool you can see my laptop in it. <laughs> I love the dimension and how it looks so different from the time that it's turned on until when it's like just solid. It just looks like there's nothing to it. Like there's no um, pattern on it whatsoever. I will say, however, as cool looking as it is, I think I would have preferred a different pattern on it than stars. Like I earned last... Um, spring and summer's incentive warmer which had butterflies on it so I know that they probably wouldn't have done butterflies again but maybe a floral pattern or some sort of springy pattern or summery pattern of some sort I don't know I mean I like it I love I do love like just the effects of it I just just the fact that it's stars for me is just kind of whatever but I'm sure a lot of people are gonna love it um what do you think about that What's your opinion? Would you have rather seen a different um, pattern on here of stars? Would that keep you from buying it because it's stars instead of something else? Um, but I do love almost like the iridescent color that you get from it. And even when it's lit, you can still see different blues and purples and it's so cool. I do love that. I just wish it was a little different pattern. That's all. But we also have our scent of the month, which is a welcome home. And you can see there the cute, fruity pattern that we have on there. Scentsy describes it as usher in sunny days with refreshing watermelon, lush wild plumeria, and a splash of tropical waters. Um, so <laughs> I have it warming right now, actually. I did decide to warm it before I did my video so that I could give an opinion on it when it's warmed. <laughs> Because <laughs> usually I say, I haven't warmed it yet, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to really like it. <laughs> so, for me, I don't get watermelon in this at all. I do get like an aquatic scent. But I also right away get another powdery floral finish, which I'm assuming is obviously the plumeria. 
I don't know. I guess I get a little bit of fruity with it, but watermelon just doesn't pop out to me at all. Um, I don't know. I mostly just get that powdery floral note. And if you've watched me for any length of time, not that I've been on for a real length of time, but <laughs> you know that I don't really care for the floral notes. Um, I was really hoping that like some of that citrusy or fruity um, scent would come out a little bit more when I warmed it. It does seem like I get waves of like a, a fruity note that kind of comes in and out when I'm near it and it's warming, but for the most part, I still just kind of get that powdery finish. I don't know. I don't know if my nose is just immature. <laughs> I can't pick up this stuff. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. It's not horrible. If you like, um, I don't know, if you like that powdery floral finish, and what's funny is my son loves these powdery floral notes. He loves Cinderella, he, um, the Happily Ever After scent, he loves this one. Um, so if you like those powdery notes, then you're probably going to like it. I do like the clean fresh crisp note that comes along with it. It's not like just powdery. There is definitely um, some cleanness to it and sort of an aquatic note that comes along with it, which I do like that portion of it. It's just to me when I get that powdery finish, that's just, that's kind of what takes over for me for some reason. And I can't really seem to move past that. <laughs> so our warmer is called Summer Nights and then we have Welcome a Summer for the Wax. And these will be available June 1st. Of course, they're going to be 10% off during the entire month of June. So we are looking at $40.50. Excuse me, US. I don't know why I was about to say Canada. I have never even been to Canada. $40.50 US. <laughs> <laughs> for the warmer and your bar of wax will be five dollars and forty cents of course you're gonna get the room spray which is gonna be seven dollars and twenty cents and of course you can get a scent circle for two dollars and seventy cents so there you have it friends let me know what you think again I'm interested to see how many people love the idea of the warmer but really wish that there might have been a different pattern on it um, so yeah let me know what you think about that um, and you guys all have a good evening. Please stay safe. Spend as much time as you can with friends and family because that's what's most important. Thank you guys and have a good night. Bye-bye.